Good day everyone, I am Precious Abilid Mundasa Miranda from BSE 3B Mathematics. So, for today's video, I will discuss the divisibility rule 2 to 13. But first, let me define what is the divisibility rule. The divisibility rule is a shorthand and useful way of determining whether a given integer is divisible by a fixed divisor without performing the division usually by examining its digit. And the divisibility rule have been mentioned to make the division procedure easier and quicker. If the students learn the division rule in mathematics or in the divisibility rules from 1 to 20, they can solve the problem in a better way. For example, divisibility rules for 13 help us to know which number are completely divided by 13. Some numbers like 2, 3, 4, and 5 have rules which can be understood easily. But rules for 7, 11, 13 are a little complex and need to be understood in depth. So, let's proceed to divisibility rule number 2. A number is divided by 2 if the last digit is even like 0, 2, 4, 6, and 8. So, for example, 9,168 divided by 2 is equal to 4,584. So, 9,000 168 is divisible by 2, as the last digit is 8. Next, divisibility rule number 3. A number is divisible by 3 if the sum of the digit is 3 or a multiple of 3. For example, 9,168 divided by 3 is equal to 3,056. So, 9,168 is divisible by 3 since the sum of the digit is 24 because 9 plus 1 plus 6 plus 8 is equal to 24 and 24 is divisible by 3. Next, divisibility rule number 4. A number is divisible by 4 if the number made by the last two digits can be divisible by 4. For example, 9,168 divided by 4 is equal to 2,292. So, 9,168 is divisible by 4 as the last two digit form the number 68. And it is divisible by 4 because 17 multiplied by 4 is equal to 68. Next, divisibility rule number 5. A number is divisible by 5 if the last digit is a 5 or 0. For example, 9,170 divided by 5 is equal to 1,834. So, 9,170 is divisible by 5 as the last digit is 0. Next, divisibility rule number 6. A number can be divided by 6 if the last digit is even and the sum of all the digits is 3 or multiple of 3. In other words, it must be divisible by both 2 and 3. For example, 9,168 divided by 6 is equal to 1,522. 28 rather. Another example is 9,168 divided by 2 is equal to 4,584. And another example is 9,168 divided by 3 is equal to 3,056. So, 9,168 is divisible by 6 as it is divisible by 2 and 3. Next, divisibility rule number 7. In divisibility rule number 7, we have four steps. 
And the first step is take the last digit of the number. Then step 2, double it. Step 3, subtract the double number from the remaining number. And the last step or step 4 is if the result is divisible by 7, then the number is divisible by 7. For example, 7,168 divided by 7 is equal to 1,024. So, let's double the last digit of the number, which is number 8. 8 multiplied by 2 is equal to 16. So, the next step is subtract the double number from the remaining number. So, the remaining number is 716. So, 716 is equal to... or Minus 16 is equal to 700. So, 700 is divisible by 7. Next, divisibility rule number 8. A number is divisible by 8 if the last 3 digits are divisible by 8. For example, 9,168 divided by 8 is equal to 1,146. So, 9,168 is divisible by 8 as the last 3 digits, 168 or 8, is divisible by number 8. So, 168 when we divide into 8 is equal to 21. Next, divisibility rule number 9. In divisibility rule number 9, we have two rules or two steps. In first step, find the sum of all the digits. Second, check whether the digits are divisible by 9. For example, 9,179 divided by 9 is equal to 1,019. So, 9,171 is divisible by 9 as the sum of the digits. So, 9 plus 1 plus 7 plus 1 is equal to 18. And 18 is divisible by number 9. Next, divisibility rule number 10. Check the last number if 0. So, for example, 9,170 divided by 10 is equal to 917. So, 9,170 is divisible by 10 as the last number is 0. Next, divisibility rule number 11. And in divisibility rule number 11, we have 5 rules or 5 steps. Step number 1, according to the divisibility rule of 11, we must subtract. Step 2, add the digits and add places. Step 3, add the digit in even places. Step 4, find the difference between both of them. And the last step, if the answer is either 0 or divisible by 11, then it is divisible. For example, 10,813 divided by 11 is equal to 9,883. Or 9,983. So, add the digit and add places. So, 1 plus 8 plus 3 is equal to 12. So, add the digit in even places. So, 0 plus 1 is equal to 1. So, the difference 12 minus 1 is equal to 11. Next, divisibility rule number 12. A number is divisible by 12 if it is divisible by both 3 and 4. So, for example, 2,424 divided by 12 is equal to 202. So, 2 plus 4 plus 2 plus 4 is equal to 12. So, 12 is divisible by 3. And the last two digits is 24 and 24 is divisible by 4 and last divisibility rule number 13 multiply the last digit by 9 then subtract it from the rest of the number if the result is divisible by 13 the number is also divisible by 13 for example 
444 divided by 13 is equal to 34. So, let's multiply the last digit by 9. So, the last digit is 2. So, 9 multiplied by 2 is equal to 18. So, the rest is 44. So, 44 minus 18 is equal to 26. So, 26 is divisible by 13. So, that would be all. I hope you understand the divisibility rule 2 to 13. Again, this is Precious Abilene Mendoza Miranda from BSE 3B Mathematics. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.